Muscle Question. First up, why do turtles live longer than humans? Turtles can live to be well over 100 because they don't need to eat very much. They use their energy very slowly and are cold blooded, which means they don't waste energy keeping themselves warm. All those things combined are a recipe for super long life. A bunch of you asked us, are pirates real? Classic Caribbean pirates were real, but they weren't exactly as we picture them today. They didn't use the pirate voice rarely if ever buried treasure, and weren't always violent criminals. One thing they did probably have? Parrots! Why do you say timber when you cut down a tree? Back when lumberjacks would cut down trees, they would yell, TIMBER! to alert the hired hands that would take the wood away. Bellowing timber throughout the forest let them know when there was a downed tree ready for transport. Is drinking too much water bad for you? Well, it can be. It's called water intoxication. But you only run the risk if you're drinking gallons and gallons of water every day. Hi. Hey. Why is Pluto not a planet anymore? Well, in 2006, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet because experts decided that it wasn't actually the last planet, but instead the first of many small icy objects orbiting past Neptune that are too tiny to be full-on planets. Next up, who invented phones? Lots of people think Alexander Graham Bell invented the phone, but there's more to it than that. Today, Antonio Mucci gets credit for the actual invention, and Bell is credited with developing it for everyday use. Is the five second rule true? Yes, but just remember that not all floors are equally gross, so use your common sense. Do fish sleep? Yeah, they do. They can hover in place day or night with their eyes open like they're in a trance. Sticking with animals, why do mosquito bites itch? Well, that's because we're allergic to mosquito saliva. A tiny amount of it will leave you with an itchy arm. Why is fur different than human hair? Well, it's actually not. Chemically speaking, hair and fur are the same thing. We just call it fur when it's on a non-human mammal. Is it possible to live forever? Nope. At least, not today. Some scientists think that one day we can upload ourselves onto computers and live forever, but, well, we're not there yet. Why do we sweat? We sweat to help our bodies cool down when we're too hot. Kind of like the opposite of shivering to keep warm. Can dogs see colors? Dogs do see color, just not as many as humans. Instead of the rainbow colors we see, Dogs see dark gray, brownish yellow, lightish yellow, gray, light blue, and dark blue. What's the true shape of the Earth? It's a special shape called an oblate spheroid, which just means that Earth is a little squished at the poles and bulges out at the equator instead of being a perfect circle. What was the first YouTube video? It's called Me at the Zoo and it was posted on April 23rd, 2005 by one of the guys who started the site named Yawed Kareem. It's just a 20 second video of him talking about elephants. And speaking of first, lots of you asked us, what was the first candy? Well, most experts believe the very first candies were made in India. They grew sugar cane and would boil its juices to create sugar. This concoction was called Kanda. Is watching lots of TV bad for you? Like most things, watching TV is totally fine, in moderation. People who watch more than four hours of TV daily have a higher chance of developing blood clots and are more likely to be overweight. So watch away, just don't overdo it. What was the smallest dinosaur ever? Paleontologists are always discovering new dinosaur species. But as of today, the Parvicosaur is the smallest known non-flying dino. They were just over a foot long, weighed just six ounces, and had long slender legs for running fast. Next up, why is the sky blue? Sunlight looks white, but it's actually made up of all the colors of the rainbow. Those colors are scattered in all directions by gases and particles in the air. Blue is scattered more than other colors because it travels in shorter, smaller waves, which makes the sky seem blue most of the time. 
What is water made of? If you've ever heard someone call water H2O, that's because, well, that's what it's made of. Two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom mixed together. Why does Swiss cheese have holes? For years, scientists believed that the holes were caused by bacteria, but it turns out the culprit is actually little bits of hay. It seems that the hay particles in milk buckets create pockets as the milk ages into cheese. Our next question is a good one. Why are flamingos pink? Actually, they aren't pink at all. Baby flamingos are born with grayish red feathers, but as they age, they turn light pink or red. That's thanks to their steady diet of brine shrimp and blue-green algae, which dyes their feathers over time. Sticking with our funny friend, why do flamingos stand on one leg? Well, the truth is, no one knows for certain. It could be to conserve energy or to help them balance, but experts can't say for sure. And sticking with animals, do cats have nine lives? Nope, cats only live once. But the old saying that cats have nine lives might have grown out of their uncanny ability to almost always land on their feet no matter how far they fall. Why do we lose our voice? Usually, it's because your voice box becomes irritated, which we call laryngitis. It can be caused by a viral infection or just from yelling too much. Why do we get scabs? When you get a cut, a scab helps shield it from germs and gives the skin cells underneath a chance to heal up. How often do we blink? Experts say that people blink 15 to 20 times every minute. That's about 25,000 times a day and close to 10 million times in a year. We actually spend around 10% of our waking life with our eyes closed. Why does soap burn your eyes? Whenever an outside chemical like soap gets in our eyes, it sends them into self-protection mode. Your eyes begin to water and the blood vessels inside them enlarge, giving you red, burning, bloodshot eyes. Once the chemical is gone, your eyes calm down and go back to normal. And finally, how do dream catchers work? Native American dream catchers were hung above a kid's bed to help them feel safe. The legend is that good dreams could trickle down through the beads and feathers, but bad dreams get tangled up and evaporated by morning, protecting the children from nightmares. Does our brain literally grow when we learn? When we exercise, our muscles grow bigger and stronger. And when we learn, it turns out parts of our brains change and get bigger, just like a muscle. The outer layer of the brain, called the cerebral cortex, has billions of nerve cells inside of it that connect with other cells to create a complicated network, kind of like a highway in our brain. Whenever you learn something new, these connections change, multiply, and get stronger. In other words, the more you learn, the more your brain grows. And speaking of muscles, what's the strongest muscle in the body? There are a few muscles that could possibly take the mantle as the strongest. The muscle in the back of your jaw that helps you bite and chew can apply the most pressure of any muscle. That might be the muscle that can do the most damage, but it's definitely not the muscle that does the most work. Your heart is by far the hardest working muscle, pumping non-stop for your entire life. Next up, can you sneeze with your eyes open? Well, the short answer, yeah, you can sneeze with your eyes open. And no, your eyeballs won't pop out of your head. But your eyes do automatically close whenever you sneeze. So keeping them open takes some effort. No one can say for sure why our eyes close, but it's most likely to shield them from all the droplets we're sneezing out. Our next quick question about the body. How many bones do we have? Babies are actually born with more than 300 bones. But by the time they become adults, they'll only have 206 bones left. You see, some of your adult bones start out in multiple pieces, kind of like a new toy that requires some assembly. Most of those extra baby bones are in your hands and feet and slowly fuse together as you age. Next up, where does dust come from? There's a myth that most dust inside is made of dead human skin. But luckily, that's not really true. For the most part, dust is mostly just dirt that finds its way inside from the outdoors. Moving on to our friends in the wild. 
can animals get sunburns? They absolutely can. But just like humans wear clothes to protect us from the sun, animals have found all kinds of ways to protect their skin. Some animals simply have thick coats of fur, and some secrete a natural substance from their own skin to protect it. Other animals with less hair, like pigs, hippos, and elephants, will coat themselves in dirt or mud like sunscreen to protect their exposed skin. Question number seven. Why do dogs have wet noses? Dogs and other animals have wet noses for a simple reason. It helps them smell better. That's because scent particles stick better to a damp surface. Next up, why do cats love catnip so much? The catnip plant contains an oil called nepotalectone. When cats smell it, special chemicals are released into the cat's body that make them feel relaxed, euphoric, and super happy. Moving from pets to pests, why do bees make a buzzing sound? Bees buzz for two reasons. The main one is because their wings flap fast enough to vibrate the air around them, which sounds like a buzz to us. It's the same reason some flies, beetles, and other flying insects make buzzing sounds too. But bumblebees buzz for a second reason. They shake their wings and midsection, called the thorax, to shake pollen off of flowers. That kind of buzzing is quite loud and what gives the bumblebees their distinct sound. Sticking with the insect questions, do mosquitoes really need to exist? As annoying as the little things might be, we can't just get rid of them without some consequences. They're a key source of food for tons of other small animals, who are food for bigger animals, who are food for even bigger animals, and so on. If we got rid of mosquitoes, all those small animals would start to starve, as would the bigger animals that eat the small animals, all the way up the food chain. Going from animals to maybe animals, are yetis real? No one has ever found any definitive proof that the Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, actually exists. Like his counterpart in the Pacific Northwest, Sasquatch or Bigfoot, the Yeti is a modern mythical creature with plenty still convinced he's real to this day. In truth, only time will tell. And finally, our 12th and final question. Does breaking a mirror give you seven years bad luck? Well, no, but if you're going around breaking mirrors, you might just be a klutz, which, if you think about it, is pretty bad luck, so who knows? Safest bet is to just avoid breaking mirrors at all costs.